Hello LinkedIn, thank you for clicking through. You're about to watch an informative new video from XYZ Print, but before you do, 01206 7 47 or hello at xyz.co.uk. They're the two best ways for you to get in contact with us about your next project. If you need a print quote, if you need any help or advice preparing your artwork, ping us an email or give us a call. We'll be happy to help you transform your ideas into print. And now, here's the video you've been looking forward to watching. In our first video, we're gonna guide you through our 12 favorite, our 12 favorite publications of 2019. Our intent is to make this an inspirational and informative resource, showcasing what can be achieved in print and to give you a wealth of ideas and visual stimulation for your next project. We've included children's books, zines, notebooks, artist catalogues and photo books covering a wide range of subject matters. After each section, the print spec of that particular job is shown. So if you liked it and you think it could work for your next idea, then do note down the print spec and send us an email for a quote. Easy. At XYZ, we're appreciative and truly grateful to be able to work with so many talented people. And now, without further ado, in no particular order, here is a rundown of 2019's best projects. Okay, so first up, we've got Keith Boff's iconic New York subway art graffiti book from the mid 70s. This book's been published two or three times before, but this time Keith wanted to self publish it. So he came to XYZ um, and it's turned into an absolute cracking book. This is this is like a definitive guide to subway art. Um, it's a really chunky thing. It's a 202 pages. It weighs almost a kilogram. It's about 12 mil thick. You can see there the spine has got plenty of room to have his title and his name on the spine neatly, nice and big, so it's legible for anybody who's walking through the bookshop, they can pick it out immediately. Uh, it's a bespoke size as well, 240 wide by 200 high, so it's a, it's a good chunk smaller than A4, but it's a really nice size, and as we flick through it, you can see that it lends itself really, really well to landscape photography. Each image is pretty much in the same spot on every page, the borders around the edge are predominantly consistent. There's a few that are slightly smaller. And then in the bottom of each corner, you've got the credit, so you can see who the graffiti artist was. Um, there's some further notes in there on some of the images as well. Each double page spread is just an absolute whammy of um, full colour image. The camera quality and the photography, even though it's from the early 70s, absolutely brilliant. 202 pages, so the back catalogue of images that Keith's got must be outstanding. As we come to the back of the book, you can see his few images of him with uh, some very prominent New Yorkans. Um, cracking book, uh, bespoke, so printed 500 copies, so it's printed on our Indigo presses digitally. Um, they're more cost effective, up to about 700 copies, and then it goes to life though. But yeah, really, really chunky, lovely book an archetypal photography book. This is really how you should do it. Brilliant. So In Bohemia from Willem Jasper is a brilliant example of a hardback photography book. Check out this front cover. Look at the typography on this. It's pretty much a kitchen sink job, this one. Everything's been thrown at it. So we've got red foiling over the yellow material cover. We buy all of our hardback cover materials from Winter and Company. And this is Duncan Gelb. Oh, exotic, isn't it? From their Wicko Tex range. Um, so it's this kind of mustardy colour. Really, really nice. And red foil applied over the top. So the foiling just kind of soaks in, presses in a little bit. So it kind of gives a slight deboss. Really nice when you rub your hand over it. Willem's name on there as well. We've got the name of the publication and his logo on the spine and the name of the press on the back cover. I love that. Love that mustard colour. So that's Wicotex Duncan Gelb. Uh, again, another bespoke size, so 253 by 210. So it's the width of A4, but it's four centimetres off the height. Just makes it a little bit more bespoke, makes the reader's eye work a little bit. It's not what you'd expect and makes it more unique. You open it up and boosh, straight away you've got 175 Colour Plan Vermilion from GF Smith. 
So the brilliant thing about having color plan is that the edge of the paper obviously adopts the color of the sheet as well. You don't end up with the white um, edge of the paper, which you would do if you just printed on both sides. So that's really quite impactful as well. So you can see here the, the mechanics of the end papers. It's a wider double page spread, which is folded in half, it opens it up. And then the back is then glued onto the first of the text pages. So his text pages in this book are on 150 gram silk. This is just a classic photography zine. We've got a whole range of image making, different types of photography all the way through the book. Each page is a completely different theme around the whole In Bohemia topic. Um, beautiful photography from Willem. It's a cracking book, I'd say a potential award winner. We get to the back of the book again, and we've got another sheet of Colour Plan Vermilion as an end paper. So hardback books, you get the option, you can have um, Colour Plan end papers, which are obviously a solid colour. You could leave them completely white. But what some people do is they print a pattern over it. So you open up the cover of the book and straight away there, you present it with a, a kind of double page spread of a pattern, which again is another effective way of doing it. Um, really, really cool. So if it's like a logo or something that's in the book, you can maybe replicate that, repeat the pattern, tessellate it. If you remember maths GCSE, tessellate it on the end paper. Yes. Um, really, really nice book from Willem. Uh, digitally printed again, um, but there's no no issues at all with the print quality on our digital presses. We've got Indigo Digital, so they're crisp and lifelike. Silk gives the images real punch, so the colours jump off the page. Beautiful book. Next up, we have some promotional notebooks for Skyscanner. You'll have seen them, they're the website where you can pick the best price for your flights and holidays. Um, so and again, another bespoke size. These are 269 by 229 and they're notebooks, but they've got a strong design ethic because they were trying to replicate the ones that you can buy from a company called Action Method. But Skyscanner used these for their in staff to use internally and um, to pass notes to each other, to make notes on their desk. Really, really super lavish um, internal product for the company. So the front cover is Plyke 330 GSM from GF Smith, of course. Uh, it's got like a velvet finish, feels absolutely amazing, kind of plasticky, kind of velvet, super, super smooth. And then over the top of it initially just looks black, but wait, it's got spot UV varnish on there. So when you tilt it towards the light for travellers, by travellers, beautiful sentiment. Um, so you tilt it towards the light and then the spot UV varnish shimmers in the light a little bit on the back cover. Again, you've got a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single stop. Skyscanner, absolute classics for coming up with brilliant catchphrases. The design director who we spoke to during the project coined the phrase, the answer is yes. Now, what is the question? I thought we'll take that. That's a good one. So the Action Method notebooks have 20 inside leaves. Sky scanners have 40, so it's slightly bulkier, gives you about six, seven mil thickness. Um, and when you open them up, each leaf is also perforated. So they can make a, make a note, they can pass it on to a colleague, or they can even stick some tape on it and put it on the wall. Inside, a lot of people for notebooks, they'll leave the pages blank or they'll do line sheets. Sky scanner have gone for a cool dot pattern. So really, really faint gray dots across the page just gives it gives the writer a bit more freedom you're not constricted to lines really good method of uh, making them even more bespoke and then finally we've got wiro bound with a black wire down the spine so the pages open completely flat makes them really easy to use really easy to write on very ergonomic uh, you don't have to worry about losing anything in the spine gutter um, the black obviously goes well with the plight front cover as well and the inside pages are on Mohawk super fine white, which we did go through the GF Smith swatch book, um, their orange brick, and this was the paper that we chose. So it's really smooth. So it will take a felt tip pen, take a biro, and it will take a crayon. At the same time, it's slightly off white, so it's not really glary in your face. Just a really, really nice notebook. Um, if you want to print a similar one, we can definitely do that. If you wanted to save some money, you could definitely tone down the the front cover material, you wouldn't have to go for plyke. We could go for a house house silk or a house uncoated and add soft touch lamination over the top. Obviously you can skip the spot UV varnish as well. We could just print the content, but yeah, this is definitely something we can do for your company. 
Next up, we've got Ferry Gow's Acid Reflux Zine. Now, we print a lot of zines, obviously, and a lot of them are stapled, but this is the only stapled one that's uh, crept into our top 10 for 2019. Love this one because of the, the uh, paper that Ferry spec'd up. This is 120 gram Curious Metallics Ice Silver. So like the, the paper is basically silver. And it's really, really metallic, as, as the name suggests. Um, the artwork, when it's printed on this, looks very, very unlike what it looks like on the PDF. So if you are going to print onto a paper that's got a colour within it or a shade, you do have to appreciate that there's going to be some difference because it's not on a white background. But the way that it shimmers when you tilt it towards the light and the way that the colours come to life, I think it's brilliant. Obviously, it suits the subject matter really well. We've kind of got alien invasions and um, sort of space as we flick through. Look at this image here, this green one. That is colossal. Uh, it, I mean, the paper's absolutely perfect for it. Printed 100 copies of this. It's full colour print throughout, stapled on the spine. It doesn't bounce up too much because we're at 28 pages. So it's self-cover, so the cover's onto the same stock as well. So we've got self-cover means we've got all the pages onto the same material, which on this time is 120 gram. So it's neat without being completely flat, but it's neat without being bulky. It doesn't bounce open like it does when you kind of extend to trying to staple 40 or 60 pages. Really cool little zine. Awesome, awesome graphics. Um, and it works really well on the paper. A little book on gins, tonics and garnishes. Now this is one of our absolute favourites, this one. Uh, really cool, bespoke little size. It's meant to be the same size as a UK passport. So it's 150 by 90. Um, and then it's also, as a little tip to the passport, got a gloss leather lamination on the front cover. Nice chunky spine. So again, we've got the text written down the spine. Plenty of room on there and the point size isn't too small so people can still see it. Um, as we open it up, this is the real piece, the resistance. We've got four sections as you go through the book and each section has it's got its own tab cut. So you clamp the pages and then you cut out the tab and then it forms that particular area. Easy for people to go through. Book about gin and tonic, so kind of got a vested interest in this one as well. We do like a little tip all. Um, and as you flick through, you've got a page for each of the different gins use the tab to go to the tonic section and it lists the tonics that go with the individual ones brilliant brilliant little book thoroughly really recommend getting hold of this one um, so it's index cut it's what they call the tab system um, it's got a lot of setup costs front end of this so it's not going to be ideal if you just want a handful of copies but on longer print runs this is definitely something you could consider to give your book a really really unique appearance um, to help the reader out as they're flicking through. It's got a 30 degree angle on the tooling. Perfect bound, very compact, great little book. Love printing this one. Next up, we've got Lucy Rose, No Words Left, which is another brilliant photography book. This was produced by her company to accompany her recent UK tour. Lucy's a brilliant musician. Uh, now on to multiple albums, very highly acclaimed, and this was to accompany her No Words Left album. It depicts the process of recording the album, so the, the photography gets quite close and personal. It's a really, really insightful look at what it takes to record an album. is a, is a brilliant book for her fans. So we've said this a number of times before, but black and white photography is always tricky. You either convert your images to grayscale in Photoshop, and when they print, they do print a bit flatter, what we've done here is we've left them as CMYK and really tried to take down the, the cyan um, and left a touch of magenta in so that it gives them some warmth. Fortunately, in just in print in CMYK or in grayscale, you're never going to get the pictures looking the same as they do on screen where you've got a backlit monitor um, and the blacks are a lot punchier. They just never appear like that in print. So it's kind of, you, you might want to go for full colour images really. Having said that, this is an awesome way to do it. Like I say, they've got a bit of a magenta glow.
So the front cover, the hardback, uh, is wrapped with Wicotex Brillianta, and they've gone for the Hell Grau colour. So it's a medium grey, and we have white foiling over the front of it as well. You really have to dig the uh, the white foil into this to actually get any purchase because it's quite a coarse material, um, but it's quite opaque and it's effective. It works well. Um, it's a really neat front cover with the white on the grey. You open it up and they've got blank end papers this time. You can see the end papers are glued to the inside of the hardback cover uh, and then into the text itself, which is onto 170 gram uncoated. Our standard kind of photo book material for the inside pages will be 115, 115 grams. So 170 definitely feels more premium, really makes the reader kind of flick the pages as they're going through, uh, gives it a nice tactile finish. There's 100 inside pages, so you end up with a sort of 12 mil spine uh, case bound so you can see here on the edge the inside pages are ruffled up on the left hand edge glued and then the end papers are then attached to the first and last page of the text block to uh, glue into the rest of the book really neat book and this is a bespoke size at 190 mil high by 220 wide again as you look through it just gives the images plenty of room to breathe some are double page spreads some are single and some pages even have multiple images on there. It keeps the reader guessing as they go through the book. It's a really nice layout and it's interspersed with um, some of the lyrics from the album as well. Lovely book. Our next publication of 2019 is an artist's catalogue uh, for the Simon Lee Gallery for their Dexter Dalwood exhibition and it is a Dostoevsky wannabe original. They're the graphic design company who produced this, and check out that front cover. I mean, that is graphic design, isn't it? Look at the circular and square pattern on the front cover with the lines going through it. Subtle yellow going through the middle. I love, love the background pattern that they've added to try and give it kind of like that old school kitsch appearance. Really, really looks like it's got a texture and a kind of a, a material finish, even though it's printed onto 300 gram uncoated too smooth. I think I just love love the graphic design on the front cover of this. It's a neat, compact little book, 203 high, 127 wide. Perfect bound with a neat 5mm spine. You open it up and you've got a solid mix between an essay from Michael Bracewell and images from Dexter Dalwood. Look at that, that's a cool one. That's some brilliant, brilliant work type is well set on the pages the images are given space to breathe each page has got a page number in the corner so you know where you are as you flick through and um, just a really well designed neat book bespoke sizes uh, so this is slightly smaller than a5 we don't charge extra for them if you want something slightly off kilter let us know and we will be able to print it this is 203 by 127 so it takes a centimeter off the height and the width of a5 and just makes the publication a lot more unique The next publication we're going to take a look at is this great little compact book for 10 years of the story. The story is a literary conference that takes place every year um, with some quite uh, well-known uh, authors taking part and reading their work. Um, so this is, again, I know we've said on most of these that it's a bespoke size, but this is 194 by 115. So this is um, kind of between A6 and A5, um, a really neat sort of slightly elongated style we don't charge extra for bespoke sizes which i guess is why we print a lot of them we don't see why we should um they just make your publication look cooler why go for an a size when you can just mix it up a little bit it catches the reader eye reader's eye this is a beautiful little publication on color plan tabriz blue for the front cover gf smith as you know do the color plan range and they do some amazing colors tabriz blue very similar to the xyz branding so we do love this color um over the top of it we have white ink printing. Now, if you're going to go for one of the darker shades from the colour plan range, white ink is a really, really cool and effective way of getting some content over the top of it. Um, we've printed black in the background, so black is obviously another option, but white is just really eye-catching. Um, back in the day, you used to have to print the colour, and then you'd knock out the white um, to, to leave it the colour of the paper, but um, with technology the way that it is now, our Indigo presses, white ink, 
on the darker colour plan shades looks brilliant. So we've got it on the front and the back cover. List of the authors that are taking part on the back cover as we get into the main body of the text. Got quite a subtle pattern on the inside front cover, which looks cool as well. And then the majority, or all of the inside pages are on 120 gram Evolution uncoated. So Evolution is our 100% recycled range. Um, soaks up the, link, the ink a little bit because it's slightly off-white and it doesn't, it's obviously uncoated, so it doesn't have a coating. So the ink sits into the paper a little bit more. It's not so much of an issue on this book because it's predominantly text pages with it being stories, but then kind of interspersed are these beautiful kind of two color um, illustrations, which really quite striking. There's a bit of photography in there as well. Um, they, they work really well and they're quite unexpected because the body of the book is mostly text. Um, a cracking publication, nice and chunky. Um, 194 by 115. You could definitely consider printing that size for your next publication to really stand out. Next up, we have a self published photo book, a classic example of a hardback self published photo book which promotes the recent Strive 2019 challenge. Strive, to give you a bit of background, is a virgin backed initiative which is an awareness campaign to help promote and alleviate the need for new approaches to education, uniting communities, uniting leaders, uniting voices, and uniting entrepreneurs. And yes, I have just read that off their Google page. The brilliant thing about this is the quality of the photography. Adam's obviously taken a lot of time hanging out with the gang as they paraglided, swum, hiked, and biked across the Alps in 2019. There's some awesome photography in this book, and that's what really makes it. We'll just kind of go through some of our favourite photographs, and you can take them in. But it's a hardback book, again at a bespoke size, 185mm high by 280 wide, so ever so slightly smaller than A4 landscape. Um, matte lamination on the front cover. End papers on this one are 135 GSM colour plan ebony black. So as you open up the cover, you're just hit by that brilliant blackness. The edge of the paper itself is black as well because it's colour plan. Um, it's just quite a wow impact as you open up the cover. The inside pages uh, depicting the photography are all on 130 silk. So we've got 136 inside pages. So obviously the orientation of this book makes it uh, a lot better for landscape photography than it does portrait. If you've got portrait photography in a landscape book, why not split the page up into smaller sections, um, do collage, uh, do multiple images per page. That's all going to work and it's going to help you to kind of create a narrative as you go through. You can mix and match, keep the reader's eye guessing as you're going through the book rather than just having one size of image on one position on the page, why not mix it up and do different styles? Works works brilliantly. If you're going to print a hardback book, what we can also do is we can run flat sheet proofs of all the pages or some of the pages beforehand. So you can see exactly how your images print onto the paper and you can drop them back into Photoshop. You can make amends. You can send us new artwork before the final print run goes ahead. It's a great way to do it. Uh, flat sheet proof, so it's not bound, but um, as you're going to make amends anyway before the final print run, it doesn't have to be. And it also saves a lot of money just sending them flat rather than bound. This is a brilliant example of a hardback photo book. Photography is king. There's very, very little text in the whole book. It's the images that make this book what it is. We look forward to seeing yours.
We hope you've enjoyed the video and we've given you a lot of ideas and inspiration on what can be achieved in your next project. We're going to do more of these where we really dig deeper into publications we've printed and also classic and iconic books in zines, photo books and children's book sector um, to really see what works and to really see what can be achieved in print. If you need any further information, jump on the resource section on our website where there's file setup guides. If you need any help or advice preparing artwork for print, we're more than happy to talk you through it. There's also case studies on there of hundreds of different publications we've printed in the past. And again, they've all got the spec listed so you can note down the spec and you can ping us an email with a quote if you've got a similar thing coming up for a project. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching.